So, how was the trip? Wow, I, it was amazing, and uh, I think I have a really couple of uh, reasons as why I would say that it was amazing. And if I'm going to give it a scale, I can give it an eight point five, and and I'll let you know a scale of ten. You know, I give it an eight. <laughs> I've not asked beyond. <laughs> I wasn't no, it wasn't yet. perfect. <laughs> uh, it wasn't perfect, yes, but uh, yes, but it was, it was great and it was amazing to see what God was doing. Um, so we we prepared for, you know, we're preparing for thirty pastors, and again we ended up having seventy pastors and church leaders. Seven then, zero. Seven zero. Now that is only for the pastors and the church leaders that can, but there were other forty of 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 other people that ended up coming. So we ended up having a, around ninety to a hundred. That's incredible. I, I was overwhelming to see that happen. That you guys plan for this and this. That's a great prob- problem there. So, yeah. yeah. What was also amazing was when we saw the, you know, when we saw this number, we asked, you know, how many pastors are here? And, and then we asked them a first initial question, which was, you know, like a nice breaker, but also creating a safe environment for them. We asked them, how did you become pastors? Before we got to teach anything, how did you become pastors? And uh, it was interesting, the answers that these people were given. And uh, uh, really to wrap all what they were giving it for is none of them had any theological training. None, none. So to them, this kind of training that was coming to them, they hold it dearly. And, and again, I say it's the only thing that they can ever have close to a theological training. Amen. And and these are all. There were some really old pastors around around 60, 75 years. Wow! But they have they, these are guys who just had a heart to reach out to their people, and they, it, they were hungry because they were not taking this literally for granted. So yeah, so so that was so, amazing. Were, were you able to discern? Were, were all of them able to read, or you yeah. couldn't? No. Now, uh, we had to creatively think about how uh, oral we can be to reach out to them and, you know, to break down the material so that they can better understand in the least kind of way we could communicate. So we had to think about analogies to use, how more, I mean, how visual we can get. Did, mm-hmm. What did you teach them and what was their feedback? Okay, so 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 this is this is how day one uh, went. So we started with multiplication again. That was key, and that is always key. For us. Uh, so we started with uh, with multiplication, and, uh, and 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 ask them a question. You know, we started by asking them a question in multiplication. Let, we started with how big in ten years, five uh, ten years or twenty years do you want your church to be? How many people? How many members? And you know, some of them say six thousand, others t- 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 say two hundred. You know, and then we came to also Paul knew this, and we 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 came to Second Timothy two two, and 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 we really showed them the uh, if they can only get two, where Timothy tells well where where Paul tells Timothy to entrust what he has given him to faithful men, and and then in, uh, who will again teach other people. So on this we focused on uh, two keywords that we did not really uh, we did not really teach them the other time uh, which were uh, which were faithful and those can touch go ahead and turn and teach others as we were telling them you know in their search for disciples so that was very key after that the first lesson that we did was one degree off and again we had to look for which analogy because if we were to tell them about a plane, they, they, some of them, even their, they, they, their dreams, they, they don't go there. But we have to think about which analogy. And, and, and what we came up with was really a very interesting one because we asked them, if you're taking your cows to graze, you know, uh, we, you know we, this lesson is happening in the middle of nowhere, right? Right. You can only see mountains and hills. And we were like, uh, if, if you are waking up in the morning and you want to take your cows to the other mountain, Okay, now see this guy there can really see the mountain. And then you just get to be slightly one degree off in the way in, in the way that you are taking. So instead of saying this is the way I'm taking this, 
will you reach there? And they were like, oh no. And they know the names of the mountains. They'll be like, we'll go on to the other name of the mountain. Like, I, <laughs> I mean, that was that was amazing. And then and then uh, um, David uh, was 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 introducing this. So uh, and again, he also knew the names of the mountains. He has been there <laughs> and these mountains. And and it it, it was amazing that uh, uh, this laid a foundation for them to understand uh, 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 about the you know the whole idea of being one degree off and that. He, um and then when then we went into into the lesson these these guys had no idea just like how i also had no idea that there there could be more reasons that's why jesus died on the cross so uh so they were very keen to hear this very new very mind-blowing to them and what was really the uh, uh, the highlight of this an old man the one that you quote the oldest, which would be around, I don't know, something like 80 something years after we get done with the lesson and we're asking, what did, what have you learned from this? What new have you learned from this? That old man stood up and he was, you know, you know, giving what he has learned and points on and getting actually to repeat some of the things that we have said. So I've learned this and this. We're like, what? How? I mean, and everyone was shocked as well as we were shocked that this guy was able to understand and, and be able to, to to be able you know to even give feedback of what he has learned that was that was really for me a very outstanding so we ended the day with cat and dog so from one degree of then we did cat and dog that was that was amazing. these guys have dogs when they when they you know when they uh, are doing hunting or you know taking the cows they have dogs so they understand and they also have cats these kind of illustrations made the points and the training be, I don't want to say simple, but, you know, be broken down. Because when you're talking about, hey, this is how cats behave, they're like, you know, they, they were just laughing and they're like, yeah, that's true. And this is how dogs behave. <laughs> that, was, that was true. But then what was interesting is now getting to shift because they had no idea where we're going. And then having to shift and say, hey, we have two different kind of attitudes and Christian attitudes, and they resemble the cat and the dog attitudes. Oh, that was that dawned on them, and and and, and I remember, you know, them uh, after after we got done with with teaching them, and then gave them, you know, examples to come up with examples. Oh, they came up with really very, very uh, you know, good examples of the cat Christians and our, you know, cat attitudes Christians and the dog attitude Christians. Because we, again, we put them into groups, and you would see that they, are... and uh, yeah. and that was that was amazing. So that marked uh, that marked the end of the first day.